Hello, monster fans! Welcome to the drawing challenge. <laughs> I hope you're not seasick yet, <laughs> for I am going to draw as my challenge today a sea monster. Let us see if I can have something rise from the depths in five minutes or less, okay? Let me begin. There we go. And start. I'm going to start with some waves, some waves, some waves. It's okay to be a little bit uh, expressionistic with your water there. I'm not going exactly for realism today. Going for something fantastic. All right, so we have waves. I'm going to do some more distant waves there to create that sense of depth. And then we're going to go right into a water splash. I'm going to have this creature sort of jetting out of the water. There's a big splash on the way. See that? There we go. How does that look? Add some effects on the water to make it look a little ripply. And then I'm going to start having that body rise. <laughs> so whenever you think of sea monster, what do you envision? What, as soon as someone says the word sea monster, this is the very first thing that comes to your mind. There are so many interpretations of what a sea monster might look like. I mean, there's something like the Kraken. <laughs> you could even consider Godzilla a sea monster, right? With all those boat attacks he has under his monstrous belt. <laughs> I'm going to have the occasional sort of wetness coming off of this monster, letting you know that he has indeed just risen from the depths but I think you already have an idea of just what kind of sea monster I'm going for here. It's flippers, a long neck, small head. And I'm going to have another, the other flipper coming out that way, or fin if you prefer. <laughs> Who knows the difference between fins and flippers? Could be an interesting trivia question. So here we go. I'm going to start to darken the lines of the creature itself so that it stands out from the water around it a little bit more, make it more prominent. Nothing wrong with messing up a little bit. I will incorporate the mess into the image. There we go. There we go. There we go. How's that looking? There we go. Of course, there are real life sea monsters, so to speak, such as the giant squid and giant octopus. And you have the horrors of the deep. Uh, such as anglerfish and other creatures that are not necessarily large, but uh, <laughs> no less monstrous, right? There we go. There we go. Keep going. There we go. I'm going to do some quick shading to kind of darken the skin. I always imagine this creature as having super dark skin, like Onyx, such as described in the song. <laughs> there we go. 
make that shadowy figure stand out. It's getting quite a bit of uh, height there out of, out of the waves, isn't it? Go back down here and detail the waves a little bit more. A little bit more. And then the waves can get a little bit darker sometimes, especially the ones in the foreground. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> well, do you see that? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Did I rise to the occasion? <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed my drawing challenge just as I hope that you enjoyed the video entire. If you have, please do click that like button and toll that bell.